In May of 1995, the Northern Territory Government passed a new law that would send shockwaves through Australia's political landscape. They had just legalised euthanasia, or voluntary assisted dying, making the Northern Territory the first state or territory in Australia to do so. It was a big deal at the time, but not everyone was happy. After 18 months of controversy in the Northern Territory, the euthanasia debate arrived in federal parliament. The Commonwealth government, that's the federal government, were not fans of this new euthanasia law and they wanted to get rid of it, which, as it turns out, is a surprisingly easy thing for the Commonwealth to do, thanks to a little thing called Section 122 of the Constitution. <laughs> Section 122 is a nice short paragraph. Some light reading you could do over breakfast. Let's focus on that first bit. The Parliament may make laws for the government of any territory surrendered by any state, to and accepted by the Commonwealth. And you know what the Northern Territory is? It's a territory that was once surrendered by a state. OK, look at this map. These are the six states of Australia. But if you look at this map from Federation, these were the six states of Australia. Yep, the Northern Territory was once part of South Australia, but not for long. By 1911, the South Australian government decided it wanted nothing to do with the top end. So a borderline was drawn and the Northern Territory was surrendered to the Commonwealth, where the Commonwealth kind of like adopted it and it was directly governed by it. Until the 1st of July, 1978. The Northern Territory Self-Government Act was passed, meaning the Northern Territory could now govern itself. But this didn't turn it into a state. It did give the Northern Territory its own legislative assembly, meaning that, in most cases, it could now make its own decisions on things, just like a state government would. You are embarking on one of the noblest adventures open to any people, democratic self-government. But because of Section 122, the Commonwealth could always step in and take the reins if it ever felt like things were getting out of control. And that happened in 1995 with the passing of the Rights of the Terminally Ill Act. The Rights of the Terminally Ill Act is operational in the Northern Territory from July the 1st. It was a huge deal and quite controversial both locally and nationally. It didn't take long for the Commonwealth to realise it did not like these new euthanasia laws, so it vetoed the new law. And remember, the Commonwealth's totally allowed to just do that because of Section 122. To start with, the Northern Territory is not a state, it's a territory. And the law of a... Well, the law... the law that is, Doesn't it have the same rights as, say, Western... No, no, it does not, because the law that established uh, um, self-government for the Northern Territory expressly reserved to the Commonwealth Parliament the right to overrule a territory law. While it was there, it also made an amendment to the Northern Territory Self-Government Act, removing the NT's power to make laws about euthanasia ever again. Voluntary euthanasia is no longer legal in the Northern Territory. Don't do this. You breach all the rules in the book. You breach all the conventions of the Westminster system. Obviously, some people in the Northern Territory government were a bit miffed and they wanted to look at ways the NT could get more powers equal to that of the states. And the most obvious way of doing that was to join them and become a state. The Northern Territory is to become the seventh state of Australia. In 1998, the Prime Minister John Howard announced a referendum for Territorians to decide whether or not the Northern Territory should become a state. It would also ensure that we have the legislative base to legislate uh, for ourselves in an unrestricted way. But while it was a tight one, it was a no vote of 51.3%. According to an inquiry carried out by the Northern Territory Legal and Constitutional Affairs Committee, people felt like there hadn't been enough consultation, and many didn't feel like they understood enough about the idea of statehood. Vote now for the statehood on the 3rd of October. Aboriginal people also expressed concerns that it might affect their land rights due to a lack of trust of the NT government. There was an overwhelming vote for yes in the city and the towns. We got there by a clear majority. We missed out in the Aboriginal communities and there's reasons for that. So, there we go. That's why the Northern Territory is not a state. But back to those euthanasia laws for a minute. 
In December of 2022, the Restoring Territory Rights Bill made its way through Federal Parliament. Its purpose was to get rid of that amendment from the Northern Territory Self-Government Act so that it could make laws specifically about euthanasia again. By the way, the ACT is lumped into this too because even though it hasn't had as much to do with the whole debate, it's still a territory as well. But while the territories are now legally granted the ability to make euthanasia laws once again, one thing still exists. Section 122 of the Constitution. That's not going anywhere. And for as long as the Northern Territory stays a territory, the Commonwealth Government could always just do this again. 